If you're doing a bit of YouTubing like me, the contents of this video will probably make a bit of sense, otherwise you might want to skip it. But what I'm trying to get to is when you upload a video, it's not a bad idea to assign certain tags or descriptions. Now some people will say they're not massively important, but I think they are, especially if you want to help yourself be found with the many millions and billions of videos that we have out there. So I just want to show you something. I've done a search for how to write a book uh, in YouTube and I've set it to show me anything uploaded this week and I want it in view count order, okay? So this is now going to show me what's coming through and this has got 29,000 views, that's got 18,000 and I'm going to go down to, ah, oh, here we go, we'll go down to this one, write the best subplots. I don't know anyone on here, by the way, okay? This video was released two days ago and it's got 11,000 views. If I now click into this video, and by the way, it's on silent, so you can ignore everything you see on here on the screen in terms of content. Can you see over here, right above me, just over there, okay, Social Blade, some information has popped up that's now going to tell me what keywords or tags, in a way, were entered for this particular video. Now, I'm not saying imitate or copy everything you see here, but it is going to give you an idea of what were they putting to help them get found because I searched for how to write, how to write a book. And if you look over here, you can see how to write a book, tips for writing a book, how do I write a book, publishing, writing motivation, writing inspiration, etc. Sorry, it's a scroll down there now, etc., etc. Now, where did I get all this information from and how come I can see on YouTube? Well, all I did was install SearchBlade. Now, you do have to be using Google Chrome. You can do this on other browsers as well, but I recommend Google Chrome because it just works a little bit better. All you got to do is do a search for Social Blade, then go over to the website. By the way, this is free. You do not need to buy anything and then scroll down and go and click social blade tools this is completely free now i recommend you use google chrome so obviously i would have gone and hit the google chrome extension there just click it install it and that's it it's done there's nothing more you need to do and now whenever i go to youtube or basically anywhere any video I know, open and click. Let's go to another one. Okay, let's go and pick, uh, finish your book. There you go. Free and nearly 4,000 views and it was uploaded four days ago. Fine. Let's go Insta. Again, I don't know these people. I don't know anything about them. Just give it a moment and then it starts to open up. And now I can see the words it was basically entered as tags, keywords, to help it get found in the world of YouTube. So if you're YouTube videoing or influencing or anything like that, Social Blade is completely free for what we're using it for. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Go have a go, I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. A lane, commit and climb, the only way to win in life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, dish hand me the back.